Stay out of trouble. Thanks. Help! Help! <coughs> oh. Are you okay? No. I... Oh. You're awake. Unfortunately. And you're alive. This is great. Who might you be? Well, you fell in the park and I called 911. I didn't ask you what happened. I asked you who you are. What are you doing here? I saved you. <laughs> saved me? You think you saved me? Wow. I didn't ask for your help. Understand? It's, it's not your place to interfere in other people's lives. Well, you weren't going to make it. Well, yeah. Yeah, now I've missed my chance, haven't I? So thanks. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> hey, kid. That's great. Hold on, will you? Sit down, please. Tell me something about your life. What do you want to do with it? Actually, I want to be a writer. A writer? Ain't that the damnedest thing? What do you want to write about? I don't know yet. Yeah. Important stuff. Hmm. Well, have you written anything yet? Not yet. Oh. Well, I mean, how can you call yourself a writer? Well, I don't know what to write about. You even know what's important in life, kid? Well, you obviously don't. You don't even want to live. Sit down, kid. I'm sorry, I, I lost it. I'm uh, losing it all the time now. You know, I actually never thanked you. What you did, it was kind of selfless. I mean, and I think that's important. I don't even know your name. It's Henry. Thanks, Henry, for what it's worth. Call me Clyde. Well, Mr. Jacobs, you certainly look like you're doing better. We should have you out of here by tomorrow afternoon. Now, you still require bed rest and extra care. Do you have anyone to look after you for the next few days? I live alone at my house. Any friends or family in the area? I said no one. Well, someone needs to look in on you. You're still at an unstable condition. I'll do it. Are you a friend? Yeah, I brought him here. Uh, yeah, we go way back. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna get your paperwork together. And you, I need to speak with you in the hallway. Mr. Jacobs? I'm in here. Hey, how you doing? Good, thanks. How are you feeling? I feel like I'm in hell. Do you want your pills? So you're, you're just here to keep me company. Until you get better. Better? What kind of life do you lead that you can just come and uh, sit here with me? Uh, well, uh, don't you need to be at school? It's summer, and I'm staying out here with my dad. Well, where's your dad? He's at work. Oh, tell me. <sighs> Why are you so quiet? I don't know what to say. It's, it's weird. Why, you have a problem with somebody dying? You know? Yeah, you think I'm stupid or something? Look at me. I'm 75, worn out, and now I, I'm stuck in bed. I'm clearly on my way out. How can I help you? Help? Help. Well, yeah, you get that pillow over there and put it on my face. <laughs> What's this? Oh. Check me. <laughs> well done. I'm gonna head over to my dad now. Good night. Good night, Henry. We're almost ready for a championship game. Hey, Clyde. Yeah. Hey, who's that girl in the picture in your hallway? Oh, that's my daughter. So, let's eat, huh? I didn't know you had a daughter. Yeah. I'm, I am hungry. Tell me about her. Well, her name's Jessica. She lives far away, and I don't talk to her. That's it. Why not? I don't know. That's the way it is. Oh, come on. People don't just do that. I do. Well, why don't you talk to her anymore? All right, if you must know. A few years ago, when Jessica was in college, we had this huge argument. And she decided that uh, she didn't want anything more to do with me and left. Oh. <sighs> well, have you tried to talk to her anymore? Did you just hear what I said? My goodness. <sighs> you ready to lose some chess? <laughs> Is that a challenge? Yeah. All right, are you ready to lose? Where'd you find the gloves at? We stored away in that box that your mom brought the last time she dropped your sister off. Well, I'm gonna take a shower. Good night, Dad. Yeah.
do you like my orchard? It's nice. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, I got something for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, let me take that. Oop. All right. Get well soon. <laughs> <laughs> Life has its ups and downs, don't I know it? And uh, what's this? Clyde, I found her. That's Jessica's address. You went out looking for her? Yeah, she actually lives really close, like in the area. I thought I told you to mind your own damn business. Well, I thought once you got better, we could go visit her. Better? <laughs> I'm just fine, thank you. Give me my... Clyde. Yeah, well, I told you to drop it, and you went behind my back, some friend you are. You know? But I don't get it. You don't get it. I don't need you messing around in my business. That's what it's about. Now, you just get out. Gee, oh, gee. Clyde. <laughs> are you okay? No, no. Get an ambulance. Hey. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it. I need to remain calm. Maybe it's best for you not to be here. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. I just wanted to let you know your friend is not doing so well. What do you mean? Well, I'm not sure, but I... Just be honest with me. He's not gonna make it. So what do we do? Wait. 